Hey guys, just a real quick video to show you what I've been playing with lately. What we've got here is a um, a mic adapter that allows you to connect a, uh, a computer headset into your radio. So the way it works is a uh, standard 8 pin connector, mic input, push to talk input, and a battery box. I'll explain what that is for in a minute. And this basically allows me to use my Plantronics PC gaming headset while I talk on the radio so I've got hands free, my hands free for logging and whatever else I might be doing um, it makes life really easy and uh, made the uh, the contest on the weekend uh, really fun as well because I had a uh, both hands free whereas normally I've got to juggle one microphone and type with one hand in the logger so um, the microphone plugs into here. I've got my push to talk. Uh, you can either get a foot switch or a, a hand, a, a button. I use a foot switch. This foot switch here, bought it on eBay, a whopping six dollars. A couple of meters worth of cable from JCar, or if you've got some spare cable, I had spare cable, but I wanted to buy some black stuff just to make it look nice. I did want all different colored cables all over the desk. 3.5mm uh, stair, uh, my, uh, actually that's a mono connector just because that's what I used and it works and um, the battery box is because um, PC headsets use an electric mi microphone they require a voltage on the uh, on the element and the electric element needs a voltage to, uh, to work otherwise the radio won't pick up any sound now on most radios, there's normally a pin that provides around 5 or 8 volts. The Kenwood's about 8 volts. I think the Yaesu is normally about 5 volts. My particular model, the Yaesu FT840, doesn't put out enough voltage, if any. So in here is a little um, battery box, a couple of AAA batteries, and that's it. And a little on-off switch just there. Turn it on, turn it off. And... Um, Plug in the headset into there, plug in your headphones into where they normally go, and it's that easy. Foot switch, and that's that simple. Now, if you want to know where I bought this from, you, I mean, I don't have the cash available to go and buy expensive Heil headsets um, and the adapters. The uh, so what I found is uh, I found this guy by mistake. Um, w two E N Y is his call sign. Whiskey two Echo November Yankee. He does do a whole kit where you can buy his headset. Uh, apparently it's just a, a cheap lab tech headset, um, and you can buy the adapters to go with it, and you can buy the hand switches or the foot switch. Um, he'll do the whole thing, or you can buy just the adapter which I bought. It was about thirty five Australian shipped. My headset's only cheap. It's a $25 headset and it does the job. I've had some pretty good audio reports. Yes, it's not a high. It won't give me fantastic uh, contest uh, high quality audio, but the reports I've had lately have been encouraging enough for me to uh, keep using it. So that's what I use for now. Uh, so yeah, if you want to have a look, Google him. He's got a website. He also sells on eBay uh, in America. Whiskey 2 Echo November Yankee. There's another guy who's doing them as well. I can't remember his call sign, but uh, now I don't work for this guy. He hasn't paid me to say this. I'm just saying it to show people what I'm playing with. I'm really happy with what it is. And um, if you don't want to fork out and buy an expensive Heil headset, but you still want to play around with hands-free uh, operation, give it a shot. If you've got any more questions, send me a message. I don't know what else to say. I'll uh, stop uh, going on about it now. And that's about it. See you next time, 73 from VK5 MTM.